Hello and welcome. Today we have another easy answer video for the 100 civics questions of the U.S. Citizenship Test. We've ordered the questions by topic this time to help you make sense of all the information we're going to throw at you today. We also chose answers that we felt were easy to learn. You know what to do, so let's get to it, shall we? The U.S. flag. Okay, questions about the U.S. flag. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Because there were 13 original colonies. 13 stripes, 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. 50 stars for 50 states. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. The United States. What is the name of the national anthem? What is the name of the national anthem? The national anthem is the Star-Spangled Banner. The Star-Spangled Banner. Now, moving on to the colonial period and independence. What is one reason colonists came to America? What is one reason colonists came to America? One reason is freedom. Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. American Indians. You can also say Native Americans. Either way is correct. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Okay, here's a list I chose here. Crow. Crow is the name of one American Indian tribe in the United States. There were 13 original states. Name three. There were 13 original states. Name three. Here I chose all the news. New Hampshire, New York, and New Jersey. New Hampshire, New York, and New Jersey. Why did the colonists fight the British? Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. What did the Declaration of Independence do? What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free, free from Great Britain. So the Declaration of Independence said that the United States is free. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? That was July 4th, 
1776. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Two rights in the Declaration of Independence are life and liberty. Life and liberty. Who was the first president? Who was the first president? First president was George Washington. George Washington. Who is the father of our country? Who is the father of our country? Mm, that is George Washington. George Washington. Okay, very good. Now we're going to move on to the Constitution. What is the supreme law of the land? What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. What does the Constitution do? What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. The Constitution sets up the government. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? When was the Constitution written? Seventeen eighty seven. The Constitution was written in seventeen eighty seven. Seventeen eighty seven. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. John Jay. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Benjamin Franklin, he was a U.S. diplomat, a U.S. diplomat. What is an amendment? What is an amendment? It's a change. An amendment is a change. Specifically here, a change to the Constitution. An amendment is a change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The first ten amendments 
are called the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. How many amendments does the Constitution have? How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27 amendments. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. To print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. To provide schooling and education. Okay, moving on. There are three branches of government. So first we will talk about the executive branch. The executive branch. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? That's checks and balances. Checks and balances. What is the rule of law? What is the rule of law? The rule of law means everyone must follow the law. Everyone must follow the law. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. The president is in charge of the executive branch. Who signs bills to become laws? Who signs bills to become laws? The president. The president signs bills to become laws. Who vetoes bills? Who vetoes bills? The president. The president can veto a bill. Who is the commander in chief of the military? Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. The president is commander in chief of the military. We elect a president for how many years? We elect a president for how many years? Four. Four years for a president. In what month do we vote for president? In what month do we vote for president? November. November. What is the name of the President of the United States now? What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. What does the President's Cabinet do? 
What does the president's cabinet do? Hmm. The president's cabinet advises the president. It advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? What are two cabinet level positions? Okay, here we have a list. I chose Secretary of Defense and Secretary of Education. Secretary of Defense and Secretary of Education. What are the two major political parties in the United States? What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. The two major political parties are the Democratic and Republican parties. What is the political party of the president now? What is the political party of the president now? The Democratic Party. The Democratic Party. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. The vice president. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House. Very good. The next branch of government we're going to discuss is the legislative branch, which is also called Congress. Congress. Name one branch or part of the government. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Congress. Who makes federal laws? Who makes federal laws? Congress. Congress makes federal laws. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. The Senate and House. You can also say the Senate and House of Representatives, but we usually shorten that to just the House. <laughs> How many U.S. Senators are there? How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. 100 Senators. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years for a Senator. <laughs> Very good. Six. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. All people of the state. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now?
Mm, that's a tricky one because answers, of course, will vary here. You'll need to go to Senate.gov and click on your state to find your senators or give us a shout below in the comments. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. 435 voting members are in the House of Representatives. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Two years for a U.S. representative. Name your U.S. representative. Name your U.S. representative. Of course, answers will vary here. You'll need to go to house.gov and type in your zip code and maybe your street address to find your specific U.S. representative. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Because of the state's population. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Right. Very good. Now let's talk about the final branch of government, the judicial branch. So we did the executive and the, and the legislative or Congress. And now we're going to talk about that judicial branch. What does the judicial branch do? What does the judicial branch do? The judicial branch reviews laws reviews laws what is the highest court in the united states what is the highest court in the united states the highest court is the supreme court the supreme court is the highest court how many justices are on the Supreme Court? How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. We have nine justices on the Supreme Court. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. John Roberts is the Chief Justice. John Roberts. Who is the governor of your state now? Who is the governor of your state now? Of course, answers will vary here. You can go to USA.gov or NGA.org, which is the National Governors Association. Um, or you can ask us below and we'll help you out. Okay, moving right along, we're going to talk about some rights and responsibilities. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Only for citizens to vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens. Name one right only for United States citizens. Here. Vote in a federal election. Only U.S. citizens can vote in a federal election. 
What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Two rights of everyone, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and freedom of religion. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. To obey the laws of the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. 18 and older. When must all men register for the selective service? When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18, at age 18, specifically between 18 and 26, between 18 and 26. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Okay, there's a list here. I chose vote and to join a political party. To vote and to join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. April 15th. What did Susan B. Anthony do? What did Susan B. Anthony do? Susan B. Anthony, she fought for civil rights. You can also say she fought for women's rights. Susan B. Anthony. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Martin Luther King Jr. fought for civil rights. He fought for civil rights. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement tried to end racial discrimination. What is the economic system in the United States? What is the economic system in the United States? It's a capitalist economy, a capitalist economy. The other answer here is market economy. If that's easier to say, that's fine. Either answer is correct. Capitalist or market economy. Okay, moving on to questions about U.S. wars. U.S. wars. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. 
Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The 1800s. I chose the Civil War. The Civil War. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans or people from Africa. Africans. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? The Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. The 1900s. World War II. World War II. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt was president during the Great Depression and World War II. Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. So you'll need to say all three countries. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Eisenhower. He was in World War Two. Eisenhower was in World War Two. Who was president during World War One? Who was president during World War One? That was Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson was president during World War I. Okay, that's a lot of W sounds. World War I, Woodrow Wilson. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Cold War? Communism. Communism. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? 
Terrorists attacked the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. Okay. Let's move on to U.S. geography. What is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. What is the capital of your state? What is the capital of your state? Answers here will vary depending where you live. You can find out the capital of your state um, on Wikipedia or give us a shout below. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Ocean on the east coast is the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is on the east coast. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Hmm. Ocean on the west coast is the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is on the west coast. Name one state that borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. California borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Canada. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. New York borders Canada. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Where is the Statue of Liberty? Hmm. She's in New York or New York Harbor. <laughs> New York. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. So either one of these, the Missouri River or the Mississippi River. The Missouri River or the Mississippi River. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana, Louisiana. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is one of our U.S. territories. Okay, a couple U.S. holidays here. Questions? Name two national U.S. holidays. Name two national U.S. holidays. Okay, here's a list I chose. New Year's Day and President's Day. Okay, any of these two will do. When do we celebrate Independence Day? When do we celebrate Independence Day? That is July 4th. Independence Day is July 4th, also known as the 4th of July. Lots of fireworks for Independence Day. 
And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, we appreciate your support totally. Please leave questions and comments below. We will do what we can to help you find the answers you need as always. Please remember that as a group is not a law firm, but we do have resources for you. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.